shocking video as a New Jersey transit train and a car collide. A father and son inside the car were severely injured. A gas station worker tells Monica Guy what he saw just seconds after the crash. <laughs> Heart-stopping surveillance video showing the moment a New Jersey Transit train plowed into an SUV in River Edge. The father and son inside the vehicle were seriously injured but are expected to make it. They're being treated at Hackensack University Medical Center. In this surveillance video, you can see the railroad crossing lights flashing and the gate down. The dark SUV attempts to go through the crossing without appearing to slow down. The gate flies up onto the hood of the vehicle and onto the roof. The train then hits the front of the vehicle, barely missing the interior cabin. George works at the gas station near the scene. It was a loud impact and we saw the train passing. As soon as uh, it stopped, we see the car on the corner just uh, in pieces. It took them a while to get them out of the car. The father was uh, hurt very badly, but the son was okay, I guess. He was still moving. Transit officials say the train wasn't operating at full speed and that if it had been, the injuries could have been much more severe. None of the approximately 400 people on the train was injured. I finally found out through the loudspeaker that the conductor said that we hit someone in a vehicle and they said that everyone was fine, but then all the news outlets that we were reading were saying that it was critical. They escorted us all off of the train by each car and we just stood on the track basically waiting. They said that they were going to send us a rescue train that never came. Service on the Pascack Valley line was shut down for three hours with New Jersey Transit buses honoring tickets for impacted riders. Transit officials tell me that the safety equipment at the scene was working properly when the crash occurred and the Federal Railroad Administration has not reported any other crashes at this crossing. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy.